before we get right into the video, I just want to make note of a couple of things. One, there's going to be a venue change. <laughs> a change of scenery, if you will. Uh, but I am home. I am not at college right now because of everything going on. They've kind of revamped everything and so I took it upon myself to go ahead and come home with everybody having to stay in and just the whole ordeal and I wanted to just give a fair warning that this vlog is kind of chaotic because of so much going on so much happening things changing day to day throughout this past week as all of you know but I just wanted to give a little heads up before because the video just kind of shifts, but you'll see me throughout the video. I'll do context and explain. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Before we get too far into the vlog, I just want to say that it starts off by me going home and just jamming out, you know, casual stuff. But the music that's playing is, of course, not the songs because copyright and don't have money and broke college student. And so, yeah, I put a song over it, but feel free to look up the songs that I mentioned. Their names are going to be on the screen somewhere. stand being cooped up in the house all day long so we went for a walk around our block and then we went to the store to stock up on food just in case it gets out of hand here in the future you know because we like to be prepared <laughs> So this is actually Jess and Gabriel's merch. Please enjoy this clip of my brother trying to guess what my favorite Disney princess movie is. Gavin, trying to guess my favorite Disney movie. Gavin. I can picture it, I can hear it. Visualize the scenes that are going on in the movie, but I can't see the woman. Oh my god. There's a man, too. I know. Well, man, uh -huh. man, something. You know, somebody's pretty. Oh my god. What is somebody's it? pretty and somebody's ugly. Who's the fairest of them all? <laughs> oh my god. I don't know. Yeah. Jeff, I don't want to tell him. What? Is it in Descendants? No. Oh What do you remember? What do you, what do you see? 
Nope. Well, I do love Tangled, but that's not the yeah. movie we're talking about right now. Because that's Rapunzel. That's Tangled. It's Rapunzel. Let down your freaking hair, Rapunzel. <laughs> yeah. Fre I failed as a parent. Failed as a sister. I talk about it all the time. Uh, Cinderella. Though. She does talk about it all the Jay time. Jay <laughs> This is what coming home from college looks like. Absolute chaos. <laughs> I'm so excited to reorganize it though. If you want to see the transformation going from that really crazy chaotic mess to what it is now, I'd be more than happy to film that more in depth later on but you'll have to let me know that in the comments. That way I know for sure if you wanna see it or not. Um, basically what I did was I wanted to get the majority of my college stuff, that way I could bring it back home. That way, if something happens later on coming up with the madness of everything going on, I will not have as much to take back whenever I actually have to move out officially. But for now, I'm still home. And I picked up a lanyard. I'll insert a picture here. I'm super pumped about it. It kind of has to do with the clip that you just saw. Um, but yeah, I mean, after that, I just reorganize and then let's cut to the next day. So to give a little update on my ear, because I told you earlier on that I would update you later in the video. Well, later is now now yeah and i just wanted to say that i kind of wanted to do it for a while just because i wanted a hoop or whatever but i knew i would have to start with a stud and so that's kind of where it began and then it came down to costs and it ended up being 30 dollars. not terrible considering the piercing and just everything you know and <laughs> trying to remember what all of it I didn't write this down this is just winging it and so here's what my ear looks right now it might be a little bit red I'll see if I can get a good shot it's probably terrible looking back at the footage and realizing I'm an idiot and I must not even know where my ear is or where the piercing is so I'm gonna include a picture right here for you to reference to because I took it the same day. I mean, I'm editing this within the same day. So, it's currently looking like this. <laughs> okay, now back to the video. It's a little bit it's a little bit swollen right now, which is normal, you know, after a piercing. And it doesn't hurt as bad, but I will say getting it pierced and I don't know if I have a high pain tolerance. I don't know if I've just had easy places to like be pierced and tattooed or whatever but on a scale of zero to ten I would say this piercing was two and a half three maybe over on a three so not that bad I mean obviously it's a piercing so it's gonna hurt and after that it was fine but the first two days it's day three that I've had it so far so not very long at all and the first two days were rough I couldn't really sleep good because Obviously, I'm sleeping on this side, and it was just still pulsing, like, you could just feel it, and it was just irritating and just ridiculous, but today, it's been fine. I've been cleaning it normally, so I clean it in the morning, and then I clean right before I go to bed, and I just take... <laughs> So I still have ear cleaning things from Claire's, <laughs> from my piercings beforehand, because that's where I've normally gotten all my other piercings at, besides my nose. And I take a Q-tip. Okay, some people, there's a debate, but the guy that I asked, I asked him straight up, I was like, do you recommend me tilting my head to do the water or is it okay to do the Q-tip? What's your thoughts? And he told me it was fine to do Q-tips and clean it like I did all my others. 
so I did. And I haven't had any problems with any of my piercings beforehand either. So I will get put some of the cleaner on my Q-tip and then I just take it and I clean around it the best I can. So the first two days I was like barely touching it because I would I would go to the back and I'd feel it and I'd go like I'd be flinching because it was heightened so it was tender or, or whatever. But today it was fine. Like I can just clean it, go around it just like I should. Um so, I mean, that's kind of where I'm at right now with it. I do plan on switching it out once it's all healed up to an actual hoop. That's my overall goal, is to do a gold hoop, because I love how that looks. But for now, I mean, just got, just got a little stud, which is what I have everywhere. I normally wear studs here, unless I wear a hoop on the bottom. And then I have my little stud up there. But this is also the conch, if you didn't know the name of it, but... You can probably look that up anyway, but just so you don't have to look it up, it's a conch piercing. And that's kind of where I'll leave it. If you have any other questions about it at all, feel free to ask. I'll answer. So, yeah. On with the video. Oh my god, that hurt. All I did was just, I walked around the block again, me and mom. And then I got this idea I think I'm gonna do it for the next video and there's actually a sneak peek after this little outro if you stay to watch which I would really appreciate if you did but I would appreciate it even more if you would like and subscribe to my channel that's all for today or for this week it's been a crazy week to say the least thanks for bonding with me and sticking with me thus far and I will see you next video because it Hey y'all. What? <laughs> Am I waving a towel? <laughs> Bye y'all. Nope. <laughs>